ladies, how you doing? My name is Valentina Ganter. I am an exclusive Black Status presenter with Unique. And today I want to talk about attraction marketing. Cheers! This, is, this has something to do with it, okay? That's why I'm drinking. Mm hmm. So attraction marketing, let's start with the basics. What is, what does attraction marketing mean? Attraction marketing means posting something on your personal Facebook wall to attract people to your business without mentioning your business. All right. So attraction marketing, when people think of you, what do they, what comes to mind? I want you guys, this is like a little assignment right now. If you're watching this video, I want you guys to think, what are three things that when people see, whether it's you know out and about or at work or on Facebook or any type of social media platform, what is something that when people see it, they automatically in their brain holes go, that makes me think of Valentina. What are three things that people associate with you? What makes you you? This is branding yourself, right? So for me, when people associate, you know, when they see things and they think of me, what are those things? Unicorns. I'm a big unicorn nerd, okay? I love unicorns, all right? Unicorns, that's a big one. My company logo has a unicorn in it, okay? So unicorn, that's one. Wine, that's two. I love me some wine. Wine is number two. Number, th like, and, you know, I have a bunch. <laughs> I have a bunch personally. Um, being a mom of a toddler, you know, being a stay-at-home mom, running a business. Um, I am obsessed with John Stamos. I change my hair color like every three weeks. Like these are things that when people see an ad on Facebook, they go, oh my God, I have to tag Val on this. Wonder Woman. I have a Wonder Woman tattoo. Wonder Woman. My team name is Wonder Woman. So you want to think of like three things that when people see that on Facebook, they automatically go, oh my God, I have to tag Val on this because this just screams her. That's branding and branding is the core of what attraction marketing is all about. So attraction marketing is posting something on Facebook that has nothing to do with the word unique or makeup in general, but there's always the intention underlying from your post. So when I make a post on Facebook, I post like seven to eight times a day. You guys, I'm not even lying. Do I post about unique? No. I make seven to eight posts a day on Facebook, so I'm always present on Facebook. So my my clients, my friends, my family, even if they bought from me or not, they know that I am always present on Facebook. Um, and I post seven to eight times a day, and of those seven to eight posts, one of them is usually about unique, maybe two of them. The rest are about me, my brand, unicorns, wine, being a mom, coffee, you know, um, Wonder Woman, um, it just at, like, that's what I post about. I post about, I'm still me. Attraction marketing is being yourself on your personal wall and incorporating your business sneakily into it, okay? So I want to talk to you guys right now about the seven daily habits that I do, the seven daily tasks that I do a day that really, really, really help build up attraction marketing, okay, on my personal Facebook wall. So the first thing I do is I post seven to eight times a day on my personal Facebook wall, all right? I post seven to eight times a day. One to two of them are about unique or about makeup. You guys, this is what I look like, this. This is what I look like five days a week. Okay, no makeup, yesterday's brows, maybe a little BB cream or something. I don't go glam. I don't do my makeup. People need to relate to you for who you really are. So when I go live and go, hey, I'm doing the dishes with my toddler. Who else is drinking wine at 3 p.m.? And I go live on Facebook and it's me trying to do the dishes with my toddler. People relate to me, okay? Attraction marketing is posting something on Facebook that is just you, doesn't have anything to do with makeup, doesn't have anything to do with the word unique, just posting something on Facebook, sharing something on Facebook that is you, about you, where people see it and they go, oh my God, I'm the, she's just like me. 
Val's my spirit animal. She's just like me. She's drinking wine at 3 p.m. because her toddler's driving her crazy. She's got, she just posted a picture of her mound of laundry that's been the clean pile for three weeks because I don't do my, I don't fold my clothes either. Attraction marketing is about relating to people. So I post seven to eight times a day. Usually, my usual schedule is I wake up and then at 8 a.m., first post and then every two hours every two hours eight ten noon two four six eight and then like ten and then usually before I go to bed I post every two hours on my Facebook wall but not about unique okay I post about unique during the peak times all right I post about unique at night at like six seven o'clock right and then I post about unique again in the evening I build my algorithm which is Algorithm is basically your popularity on Facebook. The um, algorithm is the science behind people seeing what you post on Facebook. So I post throughout the day about me. Me, 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 me. Unicorns, wine, coffee, being a toddler mom, not doing the laundry, being a stay-at-home mom, wanting to watch Harry Potter, but I haven't taken the trash out yet. My dog just crapped on the carpet. I let people in. I let them relate to me, okay? So I post seven to eight times a day about me. And then that attracts people throughout the day and at night, I talk about my business, all right? So I post seven to eight times a day on my personal Facebook wall and I keep it me. I keep it funny, I keep it light, never religious, never political, always light, always awesome. Um, another thing I always do that I think is very, very important, which I usually end up, and the reason I wanna kinda of talk about my seven daily steps is because I usually like to incorporate these things into my posts. Um, so another thing I do every day is like 10 to 30 minutes of personal development. Whether that is listening to something inspirational, whether it's playing inspirational music in the background when I do the dishes, whatever it is. Because then I can, you know, get pumped up on a level where I can post on Facebook like, Dear Kelly Clarkson, thank you for your so-and-so album. As I was able to do the dishes while my toddler screamed at me for being a jerk and not drink an entire bottle of wine. So thank you Kelly Clarkson for me for not making me an alcoholic. You know, and I make it funny, I make it light, I make it relatable. Um, the next thing I do is I send friend requests. I send friend requests, I go into old parties, I go, I pick a friend or a client, someone that buys from me all the time, and I look at her friends. I go into her friends list, and I start sending friend requests. Now, do I friend request every single like female friend of hers? No, but based on what I post about, like attraction marketing, based on what I post about unicorns, having a kid, having a dog, like coffee, wine, whatever. I scroll through her friends list. I pick one person a day. I scroll through her friends list and I find people whose maybe their profile picture is them and, and a two-year-old or them drinking a cup of coffee or them having a glass of wine or them with like the unicorn Snapchat filter. Those are the girls that I send a friend request to because my attraction marketing that I do on my personal wall if they see the friend request, they'll go, who's this? They'll see our mutual friend and they'll go, oh my God, she likes unicorns. I love unicorns. Yeah, okay, I'll accept her friend request. And then they are watching my business, even if it's subconscious, even like every post I make has intention behind it, right? But they're still seeing me. They see me. They see me. So I send friend requests every day. Um, <clears throat> um, another thing that I do every day, I send messages about the opportunity. I message past customers, past party hostesses and stuff like that. I always message about the opportunity. And I message the people that comment, um, like, love, laugh, whatever, on my personal posts. So friends of mine on my personal Facebook wall that like my posts, that love my posts, that laugh at my posts, that, you know, post a gif about their mom, like their, their mommy Mondays or whatever, you know, underneath where I'm like, oh my God, it's only 10 a.m. and I'm ready to switch from coffee to wine. Anyone else feel that way? Drop a gif on how you feel today if you're a mom. Those people that relate to me on that level, those are the people I send an opportunity message to. And I go, girl, I still don't know why you're doing this with me. Literally, like, I feel like we're spirit animals. You're having the same day I'm having. And you should be able to run a business as well from home and be successful and not have to add the stress onto your crazy toddler filled day of I have to go to work in four hours or I have to go to I have to be up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. 
So I relate to them on that level in which they like. So I'm always, 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 I send messages with intent, I post with intent, all right? Um, the other thing I do, you guys, is parties. Parties, parties, parties. I literally could spend two hours talking about online parties. I do online parties to make friends, okay? The point of the online party is not to make the sale. If the sale happens, then that's bomb.com. But the point of the online party is to make new friends. And how do you make new friends? When you relate with someone. So when I do online parties, I let all those strangers into my life. I let them know all the things I post on my personal wall, I bring it into the party, okay? So attraction marketing needs to work in your party. Don't run a party like I'm going to do pages one through 10 of the catalog the first day and then 10 through 20 the second day and then 21 through 30. That's not the point of the party. The point of the party is to meet new people. The point of the party is for someone that's watching to go, oh my God, that's me. That's my life. I also have a two year old that drives me bananas. I also drink wine and then judge myself. But you know what's different? Her brows look really good. You know what's different? Her lashes are phenomenal. They, they relate to you and they go, but she's got her shit together or she looks like she's got her shit together. I want to be like Val, okay? So bring the attraction marketing into your parties. Your parties should not be pictures and links and graphics of like before and afters. It should be, hey, what's up? My name's Val. Let's hang out tonight for a little bit. Let them in. Let them in, let them in, let them in, because that is attraction marketing through a party. That is going to blow your network up. I promise you, it's going to blow your network up, okay? Um, another thing, let's see. Um, another thing I like to do is message teammates, okay? So this is kind of like what I do daily, but it all kind of relates to that, you know, um, that attraction marketing aspect, right? I like to message three to five people a day in my team, okay? Now, if you have a small team, just... Be a mama bear and be a friend to your team. If you have a small team, check in with them daily. Don't just post in a team page. Don't just tag them and stuff. Be their friend, okay? Listen to me. Be their friend. They will not keep working with you if they don't like you and they don't trust you. So be their friend. Be vulnerable. Open yourself up. Let them see your why. Let them know why you do what you do because I guarantee you, Everyone in your team, whether it's a huge team or a small team, I guarantee you there are so many people in your downline in your team that are doing this for the exact same reason you are, okay? So let them see why you do it, all right? Um, but I message like three to five teammates, girls that aren't in my personally enrolled because I have a big team now. So I try to pick three to five people a day that I've never communicated with and I reach out to them and I go, hey girl, I just wanted to say, you know, hi and open the grounds of communication that if you ever need anything from me I'm here for you you can message me any question at any time and um, you have an amazing sponsor your leader is so great I love her so much um, but if you ever want a second opinion or a third opinion please don't hesitate to reach out to me okay um, and I think then if they see me on a level that is my personal Facebook page instead of just me and the team page that's a good thing it's a win-win it's a win-win baby um, and finally, the other thing I do is you can either make, if you're a list person on Facebook, you can actually create lists, which I'm, I don't do this personally. I don't create lists on Facebook personally. I know some people have to because they've got a job and their boss is friends with them. And if they post and their boss sees it, then it's just terrible. So you can create lists on Facebook of like your potential presenters, of your best customers, of your potential party people, whatever. You can create lists on Facebook. Google how to do it, it'll show you how to do it. You can create a list so whenever you post, you can choose whether that goes public or if just the people on that list see that post, all right? So what I do is, because I work my business solely through my main wall, this is my career now, like I, this is my only job, so I post everything publicly on my Facebook wall, okay? It's scary, especially if you have kids. I know you're, I'm rambling now, hi, shiny. Um, I know if you have kids, sometimes, you know, maybe you're like, oh, I don't wanna post that publicly because people will see my daughter or people see my son and I'm not comfortable with that. My look is, okay, I run a business through social media, okay? If they wanna find a picture of my daughter, whether I post it public or, publicly or not, if they wanna find it, they'll find it. And that's a scary, jagged pill to swallow. But just remember, 
at least on social media, you have the ability to block and delete somebody. Whereas if you go to like Target down the street, the same sicko could be standing behind you at the checkout line with your kid. You know what I mean? Like, so I know that's like a scary, weird line to talk about, but just know I make everything about my business public because I truly think that we've built up this, your personal Facebook page. You have built up this network, this page, this like business page for years and years and years and years and years, right? So why start from scratch? You've already shared birthdays and births and engagements and marriages and parties and favorite restaurants and your plates of food and your favorite bottle of wine. You've shared all those things on Facebook already. Why not share what makes you happy? Why not continue to share what makes you happy? Why not continue to share, hey guys, this company changed my freaking life. And if you ever want to talk to me about it, I'm here. Talk to me. You know, why not just share it like that? Simple. Don't post your link. Don't post pictures of products. If they want to know what the product is or they want to know how much it costs or they want to know your link, they will ask you or they will go to your site and figure that shit out. All right. So make your Facebook page attraction marketing. Make them see the life you have sitting at the playground going best office of the day. Like think I'm so thankful that my office can be here today because you know, my child, my daughter Marley, her alter ego is Damien. So when she's having a Damien day, I like being able to go, Damien has unleashed the demons today. Thank God I work from home because we've been at the playground for three hours today going down the slide and I haven't fallen behind in my work, you know, and take a picture of her going down the slide. That's attraction marketing. That's not saying buy my mascara. That is attraction marketing, you know. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, so if you have Facebook works in mysterious ways, um, someone's always watching. Someone's always watching you. So never be afraid to continue doing what you're doing. If you've sent messages to people and they don't respond, don't let that freak you out. Okay. I have people literally, I've been doing this for a year and a half. I'm a black status presenter after a year and a half because I put it all out there. Okay. Um, and people, whether they comment or not, or whether you send them a message and they respond or not, they're always watching. They're always watching, okay? So make the content that they see valuable. Make it funny, make it relatable, make it something that they want to turn to as a release from their shitty day. You know, if they had a shitty day at the office, make them look forward to seeing your live on Facebook on Wing It Wednesdays when you make a fool out of yourself and try to do a fishtail wing and it ends up just looking like, you know, uh, panda. You know what I mean? Let them relate to you like, oh, I can't do that shit either. But look at Val's putting her shit out there and she works from home. Maybe I can do that too. All right. So that's all I got, guys. If you ever if you ever have any questions, please comment below or ask your sponsor, ask your leader. Uh, you can always try to message me. I don't get my message. I check my filtered messages like twice a month. So if it takes a while for me to get back to you, I apologize, but I will get back to you. I promise. Um, and yeah, keep rocking your damn business and be you. All right. Because you are freaking awesome. Love you guys. Bye.